What's up, everyone? It's that Memory Cube. Welcome back to another Shining Pearl episode. Last time we got to Veilstone City, explored it, got some very helpful items, and check out the department store. We got even more helpful items. And I told you guys of a sad event that is no longer here. If you were in the original games, you got a Porygon for free. So because of that, I have traded people and gotten not only a Porygon, a shiny Porygon holding a silk scarf. And uh, also we got um, so a few levels. I want to evolve Liberty this episode if we can beat the gym, which is going to be the purpose of this video of this episode. We're just going to try to get to the gym. That, 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 that's our main goal, honestly. Other than that, turn the game volume up just a little bit. And turn my mic down just a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, um, Liberty evolves in, let's see. I think like three or four, four levels, I believe. Cyber Nuke uh, is a trade evolution. Maruga evolves nine levels from now, and Bonsai evolves, I think, also two levels from now. So he's actually closer than Maruga and uh, Bonds and uh, Liberty. But Liberty should evolve soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be the goal for this episode, literally just to take on the gym. Also, there's some Galactic Grunts we learned. They have a building here, like a warehouse kind of area. There's also another item we didn't grab that we're going to see if we can grab. These people over here give you the scope lens of the wide lens. Literally just a little mini mini game right there that's not really considered a mini game. Also, I don't know what this is right here. It's next to the rock climb area, but you can't, like, is it another stage or something? I don't know. Anyway, Maylene's the gym leader. We learned she used fighting type, and I like how I said I want to evolve Liberty, but whoa. Whoa, this gym is interesting. Awesome. They did it like... I guess it's kind of like the original one, but they like, you know, reconfigured it because they have more room to work with. Now, this is amazing, honestly. All right, like I said, Liberty is a Steel type, which is weak to that. <laughs> Fighting types are um, do not affect Ghost types, uh, are super effective on Normal types. And I believe I actually have I have my notes and I never have them ready for you guys. I'm sorry, I need to have these things ready. I forget what Fighting types are super, um, are weak against. They're weak to flying types and fairy types and psychic types. So Liberty does have psychic moves, but I think it's still weak to fighting if I check real quick. No, actually, it's normally effective against it because the psychic cancels it out. So I guess Liberty is going to be useful in this fight. I completely pre-purposed that for nothing, so we're just going to swap it real quick. Still got the mind plane. maruga has got the amulet coin, which we're going to try to throw Maruga in to set up the toxic spikes and then throw Liberty in for the easy uh, the easy damage. And then um, Cyber Nuke here. I don't know if we're going to be able to use it because I don't know if it'll actually listen to me at this point because it's a traded Pokemon. And then Bonsai is uh, Bonsai. Bonsai is just cool. So let's talk to uh, right here. Hey there, how's it going, champ? To me, the gym leader is a fighting type Pokemon. Should be a terror against normal type Pokemon and a big... And it's big, but just between you and me, Maylene and Jim, said flying psychic and fairy type Pokemon could be real trouble for her. Alright, so, uh, just like, you know, any kind of boss, stage, or gym leader, fight all the trainers, then fight the gym leader for the experience. With a karate quads, I'll strike the blow for courage with my face. He yeah, courage! He sounds like he's trying to, like, imitate that one YouTuber named Courage. I don't know if that's what Courage does, but it's all good. Alright, my choke, no problemo. The joke actually is another trade evolution. You have, you traded with someone and they evolve into my champ. Liberty's gonna go out first. Pure fighting type against me. Probably knows fighting type moves, but they're gonna be normally effective. Extra sensory we got last time, which I also taught Maruga Thief. I think no, that taught yeah, I taught Maruga Thief. Liberty is uh, gonna use extra sensory. I am missing up the name so much. Extra sensory. Uh, we replaced it with Sire Confusion because it does more. Okay. Um, payback, I guess, just to not waste extra sensory. Yeah, payback goes first, too. The speed is abysmal. Why is the speed so high? I hope it's not its best IV or its only IV, because I don't want that to be the one IV that I didn't need and I got it. Gosh, name Bonds is gonna evolve, obviously. Back with about to set my shop. We'll keep our. Actually, no, we'll switch. We'll switch into Maruga just for the. Um, just based solely on the fact that I want money. <laughs> Because we spent a lot of money last time. Because in case you haven't noticed, my outfit has changed. And we got that last time as well. And I think we're way over level for this gym anyway. Yeah, these people are only level like, Why'd you send out this one? Why'd you send out this one first and then the other one? Eh, I don't know. And a shock. Yeah, we're like level 30 because we did a lot of offline... I did a lot of offline trading and stuff like that. Just for Pokemon I want for later in the game and for other things. My friend Quentin's a shiny hunter, so I did have to train for some uh, shiny so I could have a full shiny team to fight him with. I'm fighting him with my normal team, and I'll probably do another battle with my fighting team. 
also want or my shiny team. I also want to bring him on for Battle Factory, which is another thing that's way ahead in the game. Don't worry about the Battle Factory; it's important later. So, I also top Maruga Thief because I want to take Malin's items. <laughs> You also, also want to use it on wild Pokemon to get certain items. There's certain items that I'm going to need for my team later, so we're not going to worry about them now. But Choke, we'll, we'll, we'll switch because Maruga's poor taken, so now we can just uh, throw we can just throw uh, Liberty out there and uh, possibly two-shot it. Level 29. See, I probably should have deposited the others and just kept the two so they don't gain experience, but I don't know why experience works like that. It's very easy to become overleveled in this game. Super effective, vital throw. Okay. <laughs> Extra sensory, and that's gonna be GG on the first one. Yep, you're out. <laughs> Super effective, fainted. You're out. Yep, Bonsai is now level 30. I need to deposit these guys. They're gonna gain weight. Bonsai wants to leech. Uh, let's see. I know. I already told you at least he does. Um. Yeah, it's good, but it's just that Bonsai has Razor Leaf as a physical grass and special grass. It also has Curse, which I'm keeping forever, and Bite, which is good for taking out any like Psychic and Ghost types. I want this, but it's not gonna be. I just don't want it that much. Like it's a good move if you can work it onto your team, but it's just not good for what I have want right now. Yeah, I need to go deposit these people because they're gonna become overpowered. I'll be back when we're done with that. Probably also gonna heal up because. Never mind, we're gonna keep. I almost pressed the button. Bonsai is evolving into its third and final evolution, which I actually wanted this for the fourth gym, which we're gonna fight. Hopefully, that we do when we do that, we get to the next town. It evolves into Tor Terra. Looks sick in this game. Holy cow. Bonsai evolved into a Torchain. If you wonder why its name is Bonsai, that tree growing on its back is a Bonsai tree. <laughs> Yeah, now it's a grass or ground type, so electric types no longer affect it, as well as poison types? Or is it quad weak to poison? Move earthquake? Yes, I want that. This is going to be one of its final moves that I teach it, because I'm going to be completely honest. Like I said, I have everything I need. The problem is, I'm, I am I want I don't want two grass moves, because one's 55, but with a high critical HP and 95 accuracy, one's 40 and can regain HP. The problem is Razor Leaf is just more effective at the moment because it's a special, it's a physical, it's a uh, considered a physical move. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Mega Drain and we're gonna get learn Earthquake instead. So far, I have two of the moves I'm keeping on this thing for the for like the finale anyway. Anyway, guys, now that we actually have everything completed, we'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys, we're back. To fight this guy next with the Karate Quads and strike blow with tears with my fist. Yeah, there's only four of them, so it's more of a puzzle solver. I don't. Were there only four in the original game? Like I said, this, this is more of a puzzle solver, I guess, than an actual thing. Because I didn't realize he was just saying quads, and I thought I was just being stupid. Also, quads are something you work out with in the gym, so I guess that makes sense for this. Because it's more of a dojo than a gym, but then again, it's like, remember, this is this game is based, like, you know, Game Freak. Oh yeah, super effective, super effective on it. Rock Tomb, oh, so it is faster, good. <laughs> My gyro ball stuff. I, I haven't decided if I want to get rid of Gyro Ball for Flash Cannon, because Flash Cannon is guaranteed. Gyro Ball, the other Pokemon doesn't have a good speed. Uh, it doesn't have a good uh, doesn't have a good speed stat. It could mean my Gyro Ball is virtually ineffective, and that may, literally means my moves like my moves set is 25% useless. Ah, okay. Why oh, you stole my mind plate? <laughs> I don't think NPCs can stay items and keep them, because those are my plates, you know, they only get like a certain number of those per game. It's hard to get them in the underground. Let me do level 30. <laughs> they have all this episode too. Well, two evolutions in one video. Metatite, yeah, we'll go ahead and switch just so Maruga can take it. Because <laughs> I want that XP and I don't want Liberty to faint. <laughs> I need to get probably just talking about some healing items too. We spent a lot of money last episode, but I'm also getting a lot of money from these guys too about throwing Maruga in with the amulet coin. I will, I will, if we ever get, like, the money to the point where we're like, eh, we don't need a little bit more money. We're, we're good on money right now. I'll probably switch Maruga over to the, uh, Toxic Plate just to give Inishok some stab. Because it already has stab, it's Poison Bug type, and then get another stab, get another, uh, uh, added, uh, damage boost if it has the Toxic Plate. And if the Pokemon's poisoned, it doubles its effectiveness. So it's getting stab, a boost, and doubling on top of that. So you have all these buffs and then double it just to make it more 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 deadly so that could be like a really good that could be a really powerful um poison move the problem is it's not going to be on its final move set i know that for a fact because like i said i when i pre-planned this team i did not pre-plan everything i pre-planned 
more or less. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you use it two times in a row, it's gonna not work as much. <laughs> there we go. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. Yeah. That's not gonna be its final poison move. I know that's for a fact. Cause I, like I said, I pre-planned the team, pre-planned most of the stuff about it. Just did not pre-plan like uh, items was really the only thing. I pre-planned all the names though. So keep that in mind. I know I was gonna have to trade to get Yanmega and Elekid, cause Elekid is a diamond exclusive. So I had to train my uh, friend for that. I trained some other people for the Porygon, cause Porygon's national decks as well as um, Yanma, which we'll, we'll discuss that later. But that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Right now. For the Karate Quads, I'll strike a blow for hope with my fists. Yahoo! Okay, I'm okay with that, honestly. <laughs> so your hope, we have tears, hope, and courage. And then, what's the last guy gonna be? Strength? He's just raw strength. He's gonna just blow me out of the water? Oh, Liberty's in there, dang it. Think I can take this thing out? No, this thing's part psychic type, so psychic is actually not gonna be able to be as effective against it. That's actually really good typing. Um. Yeah, we're going to switch out. Maruga's doing pretty good. We'll, you know, I want the money, and Liberty's literally about to die. But I want Liberty to gain XP. I was going to take another cut in this video. I want to just fight these people and then lead with, um lead with uh, um, Liberty just so I can gain the stab and re revive my Venishox. <laughs> Venishox is such a powerful move. The problem is it has its powers. It's just I don't have that plate anymore. I'm getting stabbed still. That's already on there. But I don't have the Pokemon's also not poisoned, which is why I lead. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna, that means that just contradicts what I said earlier. I want to lead with Maruga to set down the spikes so I can use Venishox and then if it's about to faint, I can go into Liberty to get the, uh, the uh, Psychic. Because it does get stab off that, but it's also doubly effective, so... And critical hit did that much? What does Force Palm even do? Is it, like, super powerful or something? Also, things a Psychic type. Why am I not using a Dark move on it? Because it's part Fighting type, and Dark is normally effective, so maybe that cancels it out? I don't know. Yep, Maruga is good. Liberty is good. Black Belt Raphael. We came up short, but not by much. 1792 for winning. There's another two grand in the bank. And if we go up here, oh, okay. Yeah, we can't move anywhere past that. <laughs> so yeah, we can just move around through these stairs. Like I said, it seems to be that there's just four of them and then the gym leader. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so we need to move around this guy. Move that plate over there like we already did. And then let's see here, we can't move around this guy. Can we move around this way? Yeah, we can, okay. And then there's these tires right here. And then we need to move that right there. We also need to fight this guy right here, which... Yeah, there we go. With the Karate Quads, you use Strength Love with Love. So we got Love, Fist, we got, sorry, Love, Hope, Courage, and Sadness, or Tears, I guess. Colby, like, like the cheese? I like, I, I like the cheese. The cheese is pretty good. I don't know cheese, but it doesn't matter. We're here to fight it and win. Liberty, it, it can take a hit, but it's gonna die on that one hit. I don't think it can take a hit, now that I think about it. Um, we'll go ahead and switch into Maruga. We'll be fine, don't worry. Anyway, Maruga, you got this. Is there two Pokemon? Because I want to lay down the spikes just for Venishok's effectiveness, because I want to use Dark Move on this thing. Not very effective. Oh, well, neither is Bug Bite. And. This book, this guy is three. Okay, we'll be fine. <laughs> Toxic spikes, get the poison effectiveness. Leer. Okay, so that was a, that was the right move to make, even though it lowered my physical defense. Which I can't remember if my physical or special defense is higher on um, Scorpy. We'll look that up. I only have one of these left, so that was dumb. Unless I want to use Bug Bite. <laughs> I guess we use Bug Bite to see how much it does. Not how much though. Yeah, that's. Okay. We're in a little bit of a pickle because Liberty can't fight right now. Oh, revenge. I think I did use Bug Bite. <laughs> Do we have a healing item that we can use on Liberty Day? Well, we have a Hyper Potion. And, oh, we have the, I forgot I bought all these. I'm stupid. <laughs> bought all Moo Moo Milk. Bring it up to full HP. Knock off. Oh, so you're going to knock off my Mind Plate? Oh, my Amulet. Oh, okay, well, did it partake in the battle? Does that count, game? Does that count? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, so Maruga laid down the spikes for our team and took a hit for Liberty to get killed up, and then took another hit to lose its amulet coin. 
Revenge is not going to do much because I didn't attack. But you know what is going to do a lot? Extra sensory. <laughs> Extra sensory. There. Machoke took the hit. Super effective. Machoke's defense is insane though. Crap, crap, crap. Critical. Oh, it lands a critical. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're going to go and take the hit. <laughs> For the extra sensory, because it's gonna take it out. So the next Pokemon's gonna come out, and we're gonna take it out. <laughs> yes. But choke. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it, because it's gonna get poisoned, and it's probably gonna use Leer to lower my defense, which is not good, but I'm gonna raise my defense. Yep, poison. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Moon Milk on Liberty to bring it back up to full HP. 100 HP for like a dozen, and how much ever it's like what five grand? I bought like 20 of them. <laughs> Spend a little bit of money there. Spend the money on my outfit, which the outfit was actually the most expensive purchase probably of the entire game so far. <laughs> Liberty's defense fell. You're poisoned. Yeah, I figured he was gonna use leader, so I'm gonna take the poison damage, and we will. We'll also heal up Maruga because I think I just wanted to just uh just take out the next Pokemon on its own because the next Pokemon will be poisoned. Thrilled the bits, huh? Oh, you're still 50. Is what it's attacks attack power on that poison. You're taking poison damage. Why am I not putting protect on this thing? Okay, extra sensory. Oh. Okay, that's cool. The thing I held up Maruga. Venusaur's gonna do double damage now, but the problem is its other moves aren't gonna do as much. So I have to finish this. Well, I have a revives. I'm fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go to Maruga. <laughs> And then we're gonna throw Bronzor back out there when the other Pokemon's poisoned and just exit sensory it to, you know, destroy it. Venusaur's gonna do double damage here. It's also faster. It's also a special move, and it's it's almost down. We're good. <laughs> Woke up. Why is it that the fourth person just gets the crits that it needs to end my life and the poison takes its life? Yeah, okay. Hurt by poison. Choke fainted. Is the next Pokemon a dark type so I can use thief on it, please? <laughs> Yeah, Rue is level 32. I want, I want Liberty to gain XP though. <laughs> but choke. Okay, that didn't do. Okay, is so it gonna use Leer first again and lower my defense? Just get a like critical again just to end my life because apparently it knows Earthquake, which is super effective on me. Because I have revives, right? Yeah, I have, got, I have one revive left. <laughs> revive. Liberty recovers from fainting. Use Dig. It's way underground. Aren't I a poison type? Like, and, and don't I resist stuff like that? Let's see here. It's, it's a ground type move, not a rock type move, right? I'll be fine. Wait a second. It's a ground type move, right? Liberty's not fully healed at all. I'm gonna use this turn to heal because I literally can't do anything else about it, so. No! I pressed down. You're also still poisoned. Can I just take you out now even though I'm out of Venishox? We'll, we'll use Bug Bite. <laughs> it's not going to do much, but... Okay, this... I have to heal. This is taking too long. Okay, you gave me another free turn to heal, which only did 20 damage last time, so I still have to use that three more times, including the non-one that's about to do, but... Moomoo Milk, press the down button, and then heal it up. There we go. I'm gonna have to go and get more movie books when I have a way to get back there. I did a little bit more that time, huh? You're still poisoned. <laughs> no, I don't want to switch it in unless I actually have to, but just go ahead and use the thief. I have weapon berries, but I'm saving those, so. Very effective. Bulk up. Raising its what? Defense and attack? Attack. Defense. Well, thief's physical, so my poison's still taking your life, which is good. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the fight, I believe. Not the thief, but yeah, the poison. The poison's gonna take its life. Use Leer. So he wasted his turn. He could have actually probably killed me if he used the right move and got a crit, but he probably still wasn't going to anyway. Heard about the poison. Choke fainted. 
That was dumb hard. Now I need to figure out this puzzle. Then go here. Wait, does the puzzle reset if I leave? I think it resets if I leave. As far as I'm concerned. Come on, just 1800 for winning. Alright, guys. Thought I wasn't going to have to heal up, but I want to save my moon milk. So we'll be back when we're done with that. Alright, guys. We're back, and I do not want to joke about this. I've been sitting here for no lie. 15 to 20 minutes figuring out this gym because the if you can't, you can't I know you may not even tell now but some of these tracks are covered up by the way they designed the dojos they couldn't lower them so you can see the full track also if you mess up in the puzzle once nope you're out see ya good riddance go back out and come back in to reset it no putting you know a switch inside the tire to call back the piece or anything no also it's just that like why did they have to do it like this? Why couldn't they just, like, it's also annoying just to solve in general. Like, solving it, once you figure it out, it's pretty easy. But the fact is, like, you have to do that. I also went ahead and healed up and grabbed, I grabbed, uh, Torterra out of the PC. Just because I remember the Pokemon that's on our team. And it, uh, I'm gonna need that Earthquake for it. Just, just keep that in mind. Anyway, Maylene. Alright, what you got, Maylene? Please don't zoom in on my hair, thank you. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Maylene, and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader. Sound like Flannery from the, what, the third generation? This is also the fourth one. But I'll do my best as I can as a gym leader. I take back a better city whenever you're ready. Well, I've been ready, because I got my Torterra, and I'm going to end your life. Okay, we can throw in Maruga to get the Toxic off, which is not going to affect her last Pokemon, because it's a Steel type, but... Manatite is gonna be easy to take out, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna throw in Liberty to get the experience. I'm gonna throw in Maruga straight. Oh no, this thing that was Drain Punch though I think, because I think that's our signature move. Yeah, Drain Punch is that's not gonna be good. Venishock, however, is not what we're going for. We're going for the Toxic Spikes to poison her second Pokemon so I can take it out easily. Drain Punch. Yeah, I avoided it, so I made the right move on that. But I'm going to go ahead and use Venishock on this thing. Because I don't know which higher. It's defense or it's special defense. Because I don't think it's holding an item. Because I can use Thief to take out its... Uh, that did barely anything. And yeah, the, the less you do to me, the less you're going to regain on L. You're not going to gain that much. <laughs> I also wanted to waste our Hyper Potions. <laughs> Flat. It's gonna lower my accuracy. Great. It's Maruga though. No one else. Finish shock, please. I don't want to get off its light screen. Of course, of course. And now it uses bulk up, so it wasted its turn of nothingness. Because <laughs> now its defense is rise, but Finish shock's special, so it's still gonna do the same amount of damage. <laughs> and I'm faster. <laughs> Uh, we'll keep because I want to use Venishock and take this thing out immediately. <laughs> I don't think Libby's actually going to get to fight, but I was kind of anticipating that. Now this thing's poisoned, so Venishock's going to do double damage on it. Venishock, I'm still faster than it. It does have Rock Tomb, I'm scared about that because that can end Liberty in a hit, and I think it also does Knock Off. Yep, there's that, okay. But I, I don't know if I'm faster or not. I don't know if my speed was one stage above it or one stage below it. Venishock can end this thing in another turn. Come on, be faster, be faster, be faster, be faster, be faster. Yes, okay, this thing... No, come on! Are you freaking kidding me? Well, there goes that. Um, Torterra's gonna go in and end your life. <laughs> Bonsai, just, just in this clown. <laughs> I know I'm not going to be faster than this thing. My speed is slow for a reason. Gosh dang it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> then again, I'm higher, so what am I going to expect? I'm going to one-shot your Lucario, though. <laughs> no, we'll keep, because I just want to end this battle. <laughs> Oh, but this isn't the end, my friend. Oh, it isn't? Well, I have a, I have an earthquake with your name on it. <laughs> it's gonna injure the card in one hit. It's fighting type, yeah, but I don't care. Super effective, see? <laughs> Bulk up. So you wasted your one turn of freedom. You could have probably done some damage to me, not that I'm gonna lie, but ground type's weak to fighting, I think. No, I'm not sure about that. Bonza, use earthquake, 100% accurate, cannot miss. You're out. Almost out. That's it, I knew you could do it. 
I'm in a bit of a bind, aren't I? Yeah, are you gonna use bind now just to waste your one turn that you don't get? Grizzly's not even very effective because <laughs> it's a steel type. Oh, there goes my quick claw. You're done. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, quit. Get a crit, real quick. I think I'm faster than this thing anyway. Can I just end this thing already? Okay, you're just wasting time. You're wasting my recording time as well, okay? Because this video is not going to be extra long thanks to you taking extra, like, 60 million frames to use the Hyper Potion. I have 10 Earthquakes. I'm going to end you. <laughs> Drain Punch? Wow, that actually did more than I thought it would, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. <laughs> You're out. GG. No re. And the card is out. Thank you. Landed a critical hit, too, so I don't know if it needed that. <laughs> I want to ride on Torterra. Just sit there and have it rock me across the land, even though its speed is atrocious. Liberty, level up, please. <laughs> you defeated Gym Leader Maylene. I know I did. I shall admit defeat. You are much too strong. 7 6 8 0. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Maruga. Okay, you win. That still was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Cobble badge, I think it's called. Got a cobble badge from Aileen. Thank you. Um, I should explain about that badge. If you have that official Pokemon Lean badge, you can use the Hidden Fly from your Poketch. Oh, and please take these as well. You obtain stickers that Maylene uses. I don't know what she uses. I wasn't paying attention. TM60, Drain Punch. <laughs> no and behold, it's Drain Punch. Who would have guessed that? Moves Drain Punch. I'm not moving flicks damage and it robs the target's HP. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here now and go heal and figure out what's going on next. Because I think I know exactly what's going on next. There she is. The girl with the sock in her head. Um, Ty, can you please help me? I dropped my Pokeba Pokedex back then. Team Galactic took it. Now they won't give it back. You dropped your Pokedex. I really need your help. I'm waiting in front of the warehouse. Please come. We got two things to do before we do either of those. We have to go heal, and um, I don't know what level trade I'm at. I think I'm at 40, but I'm going to go grab and grab Porygon just in case I need it. I actually don't know what the answer is. Um, yeah, so we'll go to heal, and then we're going to go to the warehouse where Don said to go, but there's something else we need to grab there. Uh, heal real quick. Yes, I would like to heal. Thank you. We restored Pokemon to full health. Uh-huh. Hope to see you again. Okay. Now we gotta go to the warehouse to talk to Dawn and also continue the story, but don't wanna continue the story without, you know. I think we have to talk to her, yeah. So can we go in these yet? Or is it up there that we have to go into? Yeah, and I don't think there's anything actually around here. Oh no, there is. I'm just missing it. Tapped on the dowsing machine. Where's it at? It's three steps to the left. One, two, three. There we go. Tiny mushroom. Nothing we can sell. I also found a nugget a while back. I forgot when I found a nugget from. What was I doing? I don't remember. Anyway. Uh. Oh yeah, we found it underground. That's right. Anyway. Alright guys, I think we're going to end this up here. If you did enjoy, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to the three, three usual. On this episode, we fought Maylene Beater because I was smart and remembered a few things. Also, the car had a big root for those of you who are curious if you want to use Thief on it. And uh, we got a ton of money from battling. Next time, we're going to see what Don is dealing with. We're going to help Don with dealing with Team Galactic and see what they're up to in their official, in their official base and what it says to be Galactic Warehouse. No trespassing. See you guys then.